Leonard Bernstein was born in Lawrence, Massachusetts in 1918. His parents were immigrants from Russia. His father hoped his son would join the family business. He said years later, how was I to know he would grow up to be Leonard Bernstein? After the historic debut at Carnegie Hall, Leonard Bernstein's rise to fame was nothing short of phenomenal. He became an instant celebrity. Fame brought almost limitless opportunities for his creative energies. A curious corollary occurs to me sitting here in Carnegie Hall, but as a corollary to the event, the great event that took, here, took place here in 1943. And that is that it was not just a concert for the 2,000-odd people in this hall, but it was a radio broadcast. And I've said this before, but it occurs to me in an interesting new light because it was kind of prophetic that my debut as a conductor should have been involved with the electronic medium. Uh, the medium of radio because that was to play in its various other manifestations such a great part in the rest of my life since that day. But it wasn't really until 1954 when I got involved with television that I realized what the tremendous power of the media can be in terms of music. Leonard Bernstein was an immediate success on television. His special combination of intelligence and wit ensured his reputation as music's most articulate spokesman. Well, you see, they don't need me. They do perfectly well by themselves. So why is a conductor necessary, after all? But what I realized about it was not only could I share what I thought and felt about these matters, about Beethoven and about the creative process itself with millions of people face to face, eye to eye, nose to nose, but that I could also use visual aids, which was a whole new wrinkle. 